Hi, this is uh, Ken Smith from Camp Hickory. Um, I'm going to show you today how to make a Cuban espresso coffee out of coffee that we enjoy that's called Cafe Bustelo. This is a, uh, a drink that we usually make every morning while we're at camp. And so we're going to teach you how to make it so you'll know how to do it as well. First, we're going to start off by getting some hot water. The best way to make your coffee is start off with some hot water, make your coffee a little bit faster. You can start with a little cooler water. It does make the coffee a little stronger, but that's your choice. First thing you want to do is make your pot hot. Dump it out. That way it already starts off warm before you get going. And then when you go to fill your pot up, there's a little piece right inside here. And inside there, you want to set it up so the water is just below the edge of that. That's how you know exactly where you need to be. Shut it off. We're going to come over to the other side and finish the rest of our prep. Now we're going to go to the next step. Putting coffee in the filter. There is no exact measurement of how much coffee goes in the filter. It is you fill it up until it is full. As you can see. And then you take your spoon and lightly tap it. And that's what compresses it. Don't mash it, because if you mash it, it won't work. It takes forever to make. Put it down in there, and this little contraption is called a mocha pot. Best place to buy them, world market. Get them cheap, it's the best place to get it. We're gonna take that, set it right over here on our stove, crank up the heat. As soon as you get that going, you're gonna open it up, because you've gotta see what's coming out of this pot. If you're not watching it, you're going to miss the whole operation of what needs to be done. So make sure your pot is open, ready to go. Now, while we are waiting for the coffee to start to make, we're going to get the rest of our condiment stuff of what we need. We're going to need a half cup of sugar. The reason I need a half cup of sugar, these are quarter cup scoops, is each mocha pot is different on what you need. I'm gonna give you uh, a ratio of what it is you need, okay? On a three cup mocha pot, you're gonna need a third cup of sugar. On a six cup mocha pot, you're gonna need a quarter cup of sugar. And then on a nine cup, which is what this one is, you're gonna need a half cup of sugar, okay? So what you gotta remember, excuse me, it's a quarter cup for three, a third cup for six, or a half cup for nine. And they do make them in 12. When you get to 12, that's a lot of sugar. Once you have your sugar ready, have it here waiting for the coffee to go. Get yourself a pot. It can be any kind of pot. It can be a pot like this, if this is what you have at home. This is my preference. What you're gonna want is about four cups of milk. I'm not gonna measure out four cups because I've made this enough times, but that's what I know is in there. Once you get your four cups of milk, you're going to put it on the burner. Make sure that when you put it on the burner, it is not on high heat. Because if you do, you're going to scorch your milk, which is going to make your Bustelo taste bad. All right, at this point in time, we're going to wait for our coffee to make. And as soon as it's ready to make, we're going to start on our next step. Okay, as you can see, we're back. Um, all I've done since I was gone is I took my spoon, stirred my milk to make sure it's ready to go. As you can tell, our mocha pot is starting to make espresso. This is the key time that you've got to get that nice black espresso. And you're going to pour it out into the sugar, which starts the caramelization process. Not too much, not too little. Put your mocha pot back on the stove. Wait for it to finish cooking. And during that process, you're going to take the sugar. And you're going to mash it in to the espresso. You're going to continue making that sugar start to caramelize. That's where it gets its flavor. But it has got to caramelize. It has got to, to mix well. After you get it going, mix it up. And I'll show you here in a second, as soon as you get it mixed as well as it should be, how you know you've got it mixed well is it will start to look more and more like peanut butter. A very crunchy, very sweet peanut butter. But that's how you know that you have the right consistency. 
Because what we want, as soon as we're done with this, we're gonna put it right back into our mocha pot. It's going to sweeten the espresso, and that's gonna put that nice crema right on top. It's good if you can get to it so that you can scrape it off, put that crema right in your coffee. It is delicious. Now, as you notice, our, our pot is starting to steam. It's going crazy, that's the way it should go, and when it gets to that point, you know it is done. Turn your fire off, okay? One quick stir to make sure our milk is good, because we don't want to burn the milk, remember? Burn the milk, we still taste bad. Once we get that done, we're gonna open this up. You can see our espresso is done, is all finished, and we're gonna start to scoop all of this sugar right into the pot. And as you can see, as we start to scoop it in there, you get this nice, rich crema right on top. And now what we're doing is we are finishing the caramelization process of this Bustelo. Now, for those of you who are, you're making this and you're making it just for yourself, suggestion is don't put the sugar in a bowl, put the sugar in a cup, because when you're done with all of this, you can use your cup and you get all the leftover sugar bits in there and it just helps sweeten up your coffee. Once you are all done with that, you're gonna give it a little stir. That's what's gonna get the rest of the sugar all dissolved. And you are all done making Bustelo. The only thing you have left to do is make sure your milk is nice and warm, which we can see it's steaming. It is ready to go. Now the best way to enjoy Bustelo is to pour yourself as strong a Bustelo as you would like, then add some milk and that will tone it down. As many people as we serve anymore, we just go ahead and make a mix. So that way we're gonna go ahead and pour the Bustelo and the crema right into the pot. and Get all of that sugar and everything mixed in there. Not sure, matter of fact, there's a little sugar, so I'm gonna make sure we get it and it's ready to go. Now, I don't know about you at home, but it seems like every time that I make it, people just seem to show up at my house or wherever I'm at, and lo and behold, look, I already have a line of people waiting as we are here. I can't figure out though, Ken, they gave me this little cup and they all got big cups. Well, that's because you got here late, but they put you to the front of the line. <laughs> so as you can see, Bustelo is made to share with your friends, not to drink by yourself. Okay, if you have any questions, figure it out. You guys enjoy. I'll be back. I'm glad you will be back. <laughs> a little Bustello can go a long way. Okay, come the rest of the, you guys apparently didn't bring your own cups, did you? You got stuck with whatever. We portioned them out. See that? careful on grabbing the side. Now you can see the people who bring their own mugs. They're the ones who get the big cups of Bustelo. For those of you at home, this is my lovely wife. She's the one who lets me make the Bustelo. I want you to see that many people, that's all that's left. But we're not making another pot today. You guys enjoy? Thank you.